What's up? What's up everybody there in YouTube land? Today we're gonna editing a teaser trailer from start to finish and exactly how I do it and how I how I do it in Edius. Uh, this is Edius version 9. So first I want to make a new project. When you first launch it, it comes up and asks you what you want to make your project. I'm gonna do it in uh, 4k. Um, project name. Okay, first you want to come up and name your project. So it comes up first when you click start a new project. You pick a project preset or you can make a new preset or you can customize the preset. So if I say I want to customize it because it says uh, 4K 10 bit HD. Um, what we want to do is we want to we want to make the project but I always make the project in the in the customer's name so if the if the couple's name is uh, Matt and Susan or you know Jennifer and Rick whatever C-A-R-L-E-E-N Carlene it's Carlene Knapp this is the she contacted me and Kristen Carlene and Kristen I think it's Kristen I think it's spelled that way let me go look I want to make sure I spell her name the right way K R I S T I N. Yeah, I think that's how I think that's how she spells her name. Anyway, so I got a thing here that says customize, so I'm click OK. So what I what I'm gonna do is video preset. I'm gonna pick a preset. Thirty four, thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty twenty three point nine eight. Uh, let's see what bit de depth does it have. Audio bit that uh, two channel eight bit. So what I'm going to do is edit this in eight bit. But when I get ready to export it, I'm going to export it. I'm going to change that setting over to ten bit bit if I have transitions and stuff. And I'll explain when you have transitions and you want to edit in Edius, you can actually say I want this the transitions everything to be in ten bit, and then you don't get dithering from the transition. Basically, it's the same thing. Resampling me method, I put uh, sharper, Larcos 3, sharper. That's actually a better. And then I change this to uh, super fine. Audio preset, 4 or 8 channel. I got to change that. I don't need 8 channel. I need 48 kilohertz. Two channel because I don't have any eight channel audio. I'm not running surround sound. It's just so you. Th this is the place where you can go through and change all your settings, and you can change how many tracks you want and everything in here too. So you click OK, and it launches. It launches a thing. But see, it's assuming I'm in in single monitor mode, but I'm using a a widescreen monitor here. So I'm going to go over here to uh, view. See, it says single mode. That's fine. I want to go window layout, apply layout, single ultra wide. So I have a layout saved. So basically what you can do is just as a quick setup, you can, if you change a single mode, if you're using single mode on a single thing, it just has one monitor. These windows you can drag out so I can save this. I can say, okay, I want it. I want it like this. Say I want my bin like this. But I want my bin all the way over to the right. Let's move these over here. Just just out of, just showing you different ways to save layouts. So I'm going to drag these windows over. Edius uses like a window uh, layout, but it leaves the background behind it. It's different than a lot of other apps like Adobe and stuff like that. So say you don't usually do too much in the bin or stuff like that. But let's say let's say you want the timeline full length. So you want the timeline to go all the way across, but you want the you want the bin. Let me get grab this. You want the timeline to go all the way across. I'm gonna drag this up. I'm re resizing the windows to fit. And say you don't really you don't really care about the information one. Let's see. I think effect. Well, we can shorten this information one up. Let me put it like this. 
drag the bottom of this up. See, it might drag the whole window. Sometimes it'll drag that when it spots it, it'll drag the whole thing up. Takes a little bit of look. There we go. So now we're gonna bring this up. Where is my timeline? I think it's right there. Oops. So bend source monitor. Now I can drag this over. But see what I can do is just pull this off. Drag the timeline all the way across. Pop that back up. Now the timeline is across and it's even. So now it automatically like does a snap thing. So now when I drag it, it snaps. So say you wanted the timeline long like that and you wanted single mode. So now I can go view, window layout, save current layout, new, and call it single wide timeline, right? Now it's called single wide timeline. So now it's easy for me just to go view, window layout, apply layout, single wide timeline, single ultra wide, or dual ultra wide. So this is two. I need to rename that. The reason why I called it single ultra wide is single monitor, not single layout. So this needs to be renamed. So change layout name, single ultra wide. We're going to call it dual dual ultra wide. We'll call that dual ultra wide. So now it's easy to save the layout there. This is how I normally edit because I have my bin here, my effects over on the far right because I don't actually use effects as much. And that now there's different ways to import stuff you can either right click and choose open folder and then navigate to where your folders are so if i go internal edit projects carlene kristen st augustine i can pick uh, g85 select folder it's going to bring that folder in and put it right in the root see g85 there's the folder in there or this is the cool thing about Edius. You can just drag folders over. So I can say, okay, I want Nikon, Control, and Audio. Drag these into the root. Now it's going to bring those in. See? So now we got Audio and Nikon. Now what I like to do when I first start a project, the first thing I do is... I do a sequence and call it, so let me go to root sequence. I want to make, create, a, create a bin. Uh, where is it? New folder. And I'm going to call it sequences. Sequences. And now I want to go to root and I want to drag this sequence one into that folder. So that way I've got my sequences are all in this folder. I don't like just throwing it in the root. It automatically puts the first one in the root when you start the project. So a neat way to rename the sequences, there's, you can come over here, right click and choose rename, rename selected clips, sequence settings, and then rename the sequence here, sequence name. Um, or a faster way is just double right click this tab. So go down this tab, double right click, and we're going to choose ceremony. And I'm going to tell you why. This this uh, this wedding I shot by myself in St. Augustine, so I know that all the prep and all the all the other footage is one camera. It's me doing one camera. But during the ceremony, I set up multiple cameras. So what I like to do is start with my multiple cameras, sync all that, do my multi cam edit on the multiple cameras, like the ceremony, toasts, whatever. Do my multi camera and then go back after all my sequences are saved in multi-camera, then go back and assemble a, a teaser or feature film or whatever it is I'm going to assemble. So now I like to go to... Um, I know that the ceremony in this case... In this case, the ceremony should be here. Is this it here? Yeah. 
it's two clips. So it stops there and then the next one continues on down there. So the next one's here. I think it's just two. Yeah. So that's the end of it. Okay. So ceremony is this one and that one. So what I'm going to do is plop this down here. I'm going to show you how to sync the audio too. Plop that down there. Uh, let's undo the edit, undo that. I don't want this video audio thing for this. I'm going to uh, uh, delete. So I want uh, add video track above. So I got video track, audio track. So audio, video one and audio one are going to be the things. You can just drag these little things down to tell where you want the clip to go. So if I'm, if I'm here and I just pull it down, it's going to automatically plop video there, audio on one. So videos on there, audios there, right? That's the first one. Then I'm going to go down further. That's separate video and audio. Drag the next one down. And that should be, oh wait, I gotta drag it from up there. I'll delete it. We're gonna drag from here down because I've already I've already set an out point. So I want the out point. Or did I? Yeah, there's the part. There's the out point. I just dragged the wrong one down. Look at me, I, see, I, everybody makes mistakes. Okay, so there's my audio. There's my video. Up there on the top, video, audio's on the bottom. Now we'll go to the G85, because I think I ran the G85 the entire time. Can't remember. Let's go see if I can get to the ceremony. You can see it's fairly dark. This is it, here it is. So yeah, I ran this the entire time. See, I just get, I ran around and got different stuff as they as they finished up and came out. They rang the bell. I got them ringing the bell. Okay. So this I'm going to plop into video one track, which is up here. But first, I'm going to sync the audio. Sorry. Let me jump over. See, I'm, this is just a, a winging it. So I'm going to sync the audio. So now we're going to go to, let's find a spot where, where they're talking when they're both up there. I'll show you what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm looking for a spot when she's talking and the minister talking. By the way, this is a, not that it matters, it's a lesbian wedding. Don't care. It's a gay wedding. Whatever. It's not my problem. So, looks nice though, doesn't it? See, that's pretty loud. See, always remember, the always is loud. So that's about... Eight minutes into the into the clip, so let's go to audio. Um, that's the audio of the first look. This is the audio of the actual thing because I sync the first look too. Your sense is It's a thirteen. I started the audio quarter a little bit before. And tonight, 
This might be easier to find. I'm listening. I know it's boring. On this December night. Okay. On this December night. She starts with on this December night, so that will work. So what I do is I'm using my mouse wheel, scrolling back through to where I hear the audio first starting. There's the audio. On. I'm going to set this in. So I'm setting the audio clip. I'm listening to the audio clip in this monitor, setting the audio to in. So now I'm going to back up and find a spot where they were, where they first were together. Let me zoom it, zoom it out a little bit. Okay, she tells everybody to be seated. Okay, you may be seated. So I'm listening to when they're doing it. There it is, on this December night. There it is, right there. So I bring this audio clip, drop it down here because I want the next one underneath it, so. On this December night, Sounds perfect. Yep, see, she kisses it. Perfect. See? Now if I mute this, Sounds perfect. Okay, also, my audio recorder records on the left channel only, or the right channel, whichever one. So, first I go ahead and throw a pan pot and ballads filter on here to move them both to the center. Now, I like this in Edius. That's another thing I like more than Premiere. Premiere made it a pain in the neck to get it back to mono. It wasn't easy. It, you couldn't just drag the clip left to the right or right to the center. You had to you had to bring it into audition and do something else. Well, it was just a pain. It wasn't as easy as this. This makes more sense. So I go to audio filters, pan, pot, and balance right here. Drag it onto this clip. Now watch. It's so simple. Pan, pot, and balance. Here's the filter. Pan, pot, and balance. Center. Drag this one center. Okay. That's it. Now it's in mono. It's in the center. See? Done. I don't know what the big deal is. Seems a little quiet too, but we'll see. So now I need to listen to it again because this clip is different than this clip. So I need to, I need to resync it. Okay, so it's it's going. Looks like it's looks like it's uh, ahead a little bit or behind a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a little bit because I must have started and stopped it faster than I thought. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to use the the comma and the period on the keyboard to nudge the clip left and right. So, as I play it, I'll nudge the clip. So I'm going to zoom. In, I'm going to zoom in. Zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to listen to it again. Watch. The clip that's highlighted is the clip that I'll nudge left to right. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this will be easier because of my. Carly, you are my best friend. And okay, now it's behind. My heart is so full and so blessed that I found you. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed, I dreamed about you and looked forward to this very moment. I didn't know you would, what you would be like, where you were from, even what you would look like. You were a dream with no face. But finally tonight, my dream comes true. I get to spend the rest of my life with my true companion. That's I've it. always based my greatest moments See? on winning soccer titles, reaching the dean's list in college. See? It's in sync now. It's perfect. All I do is listen to it and tap the, nudge the clip back and forth till I get it in sync. It really takes 10, ten seconds. It's really, it doesn't take long at all. So, I'll show you a watch. We'll get to where, where, the, where um, Carlene's talking. Watch. Now watch. Let me turn this off and listen. Sleep for hours, and that's when I knew it was different with you. Over the next few months, we spent perfect. Sync's perfect. So now that I have the two clips from the camera synced, we're going to zoom this back out. The two clips from the camera synced and the audio synced. So now I'm going to drag this audio to just before they came out. Just so that it's already up there. So I can hear her talking. You know, you can hear her talking when she comes up. It doesn't need to go to the beginning. Because I'm just going to I'm just gonna fade it up anyway right after this part. So I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. A little bit forward. But that's it. That's all the audio. Now I'm going to file. I'm going to go ahead and save the project. Because I don't. I've got them in synced. So sync them, save it. Now I've got to sync the other camera, the G85, which should be pretty simple because I believe I ran that camera the entire time. It was on a steady cam, like a little walking around, walk around steady cam. I had it on a steady cam, but I shot with it the entire time. And this is it right here. Nope. It's right here. Okay. Is this it? No, that's just where I went in front. That's the same clip. Oh, okay. All right, 91. Yeah, that's that's it. There it is. Okay, so it's her coming up. Good spot to do is do the same thing. Find the spot that I that I did on before and do it again. So I see what I do is I just ran around doing different stuff. Okay, so she, this is where she brought her vows out. So I'm listening again to when she starts talking. Carly. Perfect. Carly. Right there. Carlene. Right there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set an end point, and then I'm going to go over here and find out exactly where she started talking. She pulls out her thing. There it is. She pulls it out. Carly. There it is. See? Perfect. Plop it right here. Right there. Carly, you are my best friend. And tonight you become my wife. My heart is so full and so blessed. Sounds good to me. Let's let's turn off the audio. See the how's that for fast syncing? We're gonna turn them off. Blessed to have found you. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed, I dreamed about you and looked forward to this very moment. That's perfect. It synced perfect. All I did was drop it on there. That's how you sync really quick. Only took a minute to sync them. 
Now I just drag this clip out. There's the beginning of it. Boom, it's done. I just dragged the clip out to the beginning. Now these, these two, all these tracks are in sync now. So now I file, save project, save it again, and now I can start multi-camera. So how I do multi-camera in Edius is you go up to tools. Well, I can, I can leave this audio off if I want to, but I'll probably just turn this bass one on because I, I can't hear anything on this one. We'll leave this one. Actually, I like to do this. I like to take track 2A. This camera here is the one that was on the, uh, I was walking around with it. So it's probably making the most noise. So let me turn the volume down on that. Um, there's a way to just grab the end and turn it down and then grab the other end and turn it down. Um, control Z It's typical. Or you can just hold alt and drag the whole thing down. There's another key too, just to drag something else. I know control, if you hold control and drag down, you can drag down incrementally. It'll put like, it'll put it real small amounts to make a real small amount of dragging the audio waveform up and down. So I just basically held alt, turns it into this thing that looks up and down. And it actually puts, what, what it does is it puts new points in. I'll show you. It's kind of cool. Um, it's taking a little bit of getting used to because it's not like Premiere. See, it put a point here and a point there. So let's, let's, I'll, I'll show you. Control Z. Oops. Yeah, it's done this here. So, okay. So now I'm here. I got the timeline here. So Control Z. Damn, I jumped the timeline down again. Control Z has gotten rid of that audio waveform. Oops. Edit, undo. Okay. So if you see, if I hold Alt and drag down on this, it puts the point in. See that point it just put in? Now, the cool part about that is if I want to, say, lower this section right here, all I have to do is put a point here, a point there, and say this middle section is what I want to drag down. Just hold Alt. It'll put two new points in and drag just this point up or down. See? So I want to raise that section, lower that section. You don't have to put a bunch of points. Like in Premiere, you have to put four points in and then drag that section down. But you don't have to do that here. It automatically adds the extra points. So, or you can take the end. There's a point on the end and drag the end down. So, that's another tip. So, I'm just going to drag the end, drag the end down. The reason why is because I don't want to turn this audio track off in case I want to use another audio track. Or you can just mute the track. But, either way. So I'm just going to go by the camera, the on-camera audio to have a bass to listen to for just this, which is this camera, the Nikon on the end. So now what you do when you get ready to do multi-camera, you go uh, mode, multi-camera mode. It automatically puts the cameras up. I like this because if you notice, it automatically put little markers at the clips. See these little markers? It's going to assume, and I love this about this program, that's one of the things I do like. It knows at the beginning of that clip right here, it knows that there's not another clip, so it automatically selects this clip as the clip to be playing. So it automatically, you can just go right to the next marker. You don't have to say, okay, i got to choose it here, because it automatically knows that this clip here is the, is the, is the first clip. And it automatically goes to the second clip when it comes on. But see, the second clip, I was, I was uh, moving a lot, so I don't want to go to that right away. But it automatically goes to that clip, which is really cool. That it automatically, it jumps back and forth for you automatically when you first start a multi-camera project. So now you're ready to just start playing. So basically, you just hit the space, space bar, and now I'm going to get this clip here of her walking in. Until I see her over in this window right there and now I'm gonna go like this you can see her so this camera is kind of moving around it's on a steady cam I'm walking around a steady cam with that camera so now I'm going and adjusting the camera see I'm I'm just over there making an adjustment to the camera I'm getting it lined up because I couldn't see where they were gonna be standing from that point earlier so they're looking down here the people are walking over there so 
Now I'm gonna get a shot, let's see. Wait until I'm wait until I'm actually doing something. So now I, I got a shot of people walking over there. Go back. It's real pretty. I gotta color correct this. You can see this is more yellow than this. The Nikon actually is more true. The uh, Panasonic's a little bit orange looking. Okay, so now I got the girls walking up. You can see them walking up there. See, I'll have to cut that out, but basically you just go through, pick camera to camera. You can go one and two, or one, two, and three, or whatever. See, I'll just edit this and make it stretch it out to where you can't see that that changed. I'm not worried about that so much now. I'm just trying to cut from camera to camera. So I'm getting a picture, a shot of the girls. There's different shots here. All right, here comes the bride walking in. I'm fixing to get the bride walking in. So I'm turning to get to get the bride right here. I'll have to adjust a little bit of that, but there she is coming in. I got the bride coming in perfect. And I wanted it to be a shot from the other bride. In this case, there's two brides from the other, from the from her from her perspective from that side as she came around the corner. And I want to get her shot, her face. Look, she's already seen her, so they had a first look. So. So now I know that I'm gonna go check my other camera to make sure that I'm make sure that I'm in there. But I'm probably just gonna zoom over. So I'm leaving it because I know I'm moving around with this other camera. Now I'm going to make an adjustment. See, I'm just cutting to the shots that I know are good. Basically, just now I'm adjusting this camera, but you can't see her face, so I'll, I'll fix it. You can't see the efficient face, so I couldn't tell if her lips are moving right. So I can slow it down and fix that. It's not a big deal. I'll show you. I'll show you that later on, after I finish it. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to cut this out. Basically, you go back and forth. I'm going to edit this down so that you don't have to sit and watch through all of it. So basically, you go back and forth. When you stop, it automatically chops the clips up like this. Now the cool thing in Edius, another cool thing that I really like in Edius is check this out. So when you're here, what it does is it doesn't really get rid of anything on the timeline. It doesn't really get rid of anything. The clip is still there. So this clip is still there. It's just marked out because it's on this clip, but I can always come and change to this clip at any time. I can just click here and just click it. And now it automatically just changed to that clip. See? So it's already, it automatically changed to clips. I can go, no, I'd, I'd rather have that. I picked the right camera. And I can also move the clip. So I can drag the end and say, no, I want, I want the change to be here. And now it'll move that little button around. So now it's on this. But see, see where I backed the camera up? I moved it. So I was right there. So I might want it right there. So all I got to do is drag it over. Now it's right there. Now it's in the thing and boom. She kisses her hand, goes over. Now I adjust it 
I move it over. But see, where I adjust it and move it over, it's not a big deal. I'll just ch I'll just cut another shot over. Like I took a bunch of shots of like I did a shot of the front of the like this here. This shot here of the people. I got the people's faces right here. I might, you know, pan and get a shot of this. Just a slow shot of these people real quick. And what I'll do is, she's looking at her phone. I want her to be looking at the thing. So I, I probably won't use that. But either way, we'll go back to this mode, multicam. Oh, it also automatically goes back. When you double click a clip, clip over in the bin, it automatically goes back to the other to the other mode. Let me let me finish editing this back and forth and get back with you when I get when I get this done. Anyway, so I shot a uh, wedding last night. I went and helped the guy shoot up a uh, dang I'm tired. I went and helped a uh, fellow videographer up in Charleston, South Carolina, shoot, and I'm back continuing where I left off on the editing. So I finished this sequence here of their their ceremony basically finished it you don't when you're doing a teaser you don't have to finish every last bit you don't have to tweak it completely you want to fix the audio you want to make it where you can hear the vows stuff like that so i got it i've got to adjust the vo the volume for the vows real quick so let, let me mute this and see where the grow with you even as time and life changes all right So let's turn the volume down on these. So. That's good. So I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, I've got the, I got the basic edit done on the ceremony. So then I want to go to the only other one I had where it was two cameras and it wasn't really two cameras. It was their first look. I had a microphone on her and it was really sweet what she said when she first saw her bride. So I want to um I want to go ahead and put the go ahead and sync that up and have that ready to go. So we're going to go file new sequence. Control shift and end and I have it in the folder so it's in the sequence folder, which is what I want, which Premiere won't do. And we're gonna call this first look. First look. I double right clicked. First look. It's so easy to set your thing. Okay, so I think I did the entire first look with this. Um Okay, that's they see each other. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so here's the bride walking down the street. Here's the first look. Okay, so here's the first look. So I'm going to I'm going to just plop this entire clip down. Now, see, I don't need to cut from camera to camera cuz it's just the first look. But I do need to get to the spot where she where she sees her. You look so pretty. Okay. You look so pretty. So I believe this is the first look audio. She coming, Mike? Right there. So I'm, see, I just listened 
I listened to the part and now I set it at the end point so I can drag this right to here this should be yeah it's pretty close Now I gotta go a little bit. Alright. So I wanna start this right here. Basically I could hear her talking. So this is where I want it to start. So I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this audio because this is picking up all the other stuff. So we're going to turn this one down and turn that one up. Like this. And we're going to come here. I'm going to turn this one up. So what I'm doing is turning this one down and this one up. All right? Because I want to hear this audio. I gotta, I gotta adjust this. I gotta pan pot because remember this is, it's just one side. So I'm gonna use the um, audio filter, pan pot and balance. And I'm gonna set it to the center. I need to save it as a preset. So I'm gonna save this as a preset and call it pan pot center. So what we'll do is I go over here. Okay. Right click. Save it as current user preset, pan pot and balance center. Center. So now it's a user preset, pan pot and balance center. So now it's saved in the thing, boom, pan pot and balance center. So I can just drag that one down next time. So. See, it's kind of loud before that, so let's move this down. I'm gonna fade it more gradual. Basically, just moving these down. So, on top of this stuff, top step, there's a step here. It doesn't have a black thing. On it. I'm gonna get that out. That's me talking. So I'll probably just cut right from here. I'm just going to use this little segment where she's walking up with just music and then this part here. Let's see, where does it end? Because it looks like I, I stopped it here. Come here. Come here. Okay, so I can just get rid of this audio here. The end of the audio. Oops. Right there. So. Perfect. Why is it playing past there? Something else over here? Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, she didn't want to ruin her picture. Alright, so now I got sequences. These two. Now what we're going to do is make another sequence. File. New. Sequence. And we're going to call it... Uh, We're going to call it, we could just call it teaser. We don't need to name it because I'm thinking of Premiere. Premiere names it based on what the sequence is named. Edius doesn't do that. Edius, you just send it out and you have to name it. So Edius doesn't do that. So now we're just going to call this teaser. 
So in the teaser, I'm going to drag the ceremony parts down and do that. But what, let's see. So now what I do when I do a teaser is I'm looking for the clips that I want to use at the beginning of the teaser for different shots. And usually I'll start with either a shot of um, like this. This is a shot outside. So I got a shot outside of this. The flags, that's a cool shot out there. That makes a good uh, beginning shot. Some palm trees. Oh, see, that's real dark. St. Augustine Lightner Museum. Um, what's this? This is where we're originally going to do the feature. So I'm sitting there talking. I'm not going to be able to I know. Back here. I just mean. <laughs> okay. I got a shot that I used at night. I did a night thing and I made I did a long video just to have the clouds going by. That's a cool It it pans a little bit, but it's a cool basically just a cloud shot. The clouds going by. Speed it up a little bit. Right there. So basically, I drag this down. Now, a, a ways to do this. Let me explain a couple ways to do this. If you drag from here to here to the video one track, VA track, then it brings down the video and audio. If you bring it down to the V2 track, it brings the video down here and the audio down here. Right? So you got audio right here. If I drag this audio down to uh, two right here, and drag, oops, video to 2V. When I drag this down, it'll automatically bring the video to 2V and the audio down to that track down there. See, it drug it down to here. It put the audio on here and the video on here, right? If I drag this video down to here, it's gonna bring the video down to there and the audio down to 2V. See the audio down there? Unless I pull it down and say I want it in this track. So basically it puts it into the one VA track and the audio down here, right? So if I drag this audio there, then it's going to just plop it there in the, in the video and audio track. Edius has multiple tracks and ways of doing stuff. You can also, if you don't want to bring the video down, there's no button, which they need to add. A button or something to say I want to just drag the video down or just the audio down from this track but you can do it you just bring it down to a title track if I bring the video down to the title track it dumps the audio see and then I drag it back and I can put it wherever I want and there's no audio that deletes the audio um, if you drag the clip down to here while it's highlighted notice it's off highlighted hit alt and a and it deletes the audio track that's Alt plus A. Deletes the audio track. So you can technically do it that way too. Um, or you can bring it down to the title track and then drag it back up. If you want to just use your mouse instead of doing Alt and A. So, the beginning of this track, this clip, it's just the clouds going by. So I'm going to speed this up. So I'm going to right click and choose Speed. Uh, time Effect, Speed. And I'm going to make it... 400 400 percent and we're going to go field options and i want to go optical flow okay okay so now it's 400 percent now i sped it up 400 percent so now the clouds are going by it's having a buffer because it's got a speed thing so
If you hold shift and hit the space bar, it fills the buffer first before it starts playing. It'll allow it to play through the clip. So I want to see if that's fast enough. So I'm, I held shift, hit the space bar, and now it fills the buffer and then starts playing and it should be enough to play right through. Even though it has a speed change on a 4K clip. It, this is 4K. Alright, so. That's pretty good. It needs to go a little quicker. So we're going to go to time effect speed again. And I'm going to make it 600. There. Make it go by even quicker. And see, it's got some camera shake on it. And this is what I, another thing I really like about Edius is I can just put on the stabilizer. I doesn't. I, I don't have to. I don't have to do anything. All I got to do is just throw stabilizer on the clip. Boom, stabilizer, and analyzes it and stabilizes it. How easy is that? I mean, there's no. I don't have to nest it like in premiere if you put if you change the speed of a clip in premiere if you change the speed of a clip in any way if you st change the speed to put the stabilizer on i'd have to right click and nest and you end up with all these nested sequences and it plops them in whatever folder so it'll be a nested sequence in here a nested sequence in the nikon folder a nested sequence in the audio folder a ne nested sequence in the sequence folder a nested sequence in the root folder it'll put them everywhere it doesn't, Edius doesn't do that. Edius doesn't do that at all. Now, like, like I said before, this here, because it has stabilization on it also, um, it, I, I should render it. So I'm going to show you, once this analyzing for stabilization finishes, I'm going to show you how uh, fast it is to render just this little clip. Because I know it's going it, to, it has, it has its time remap for speed and it has stabilization on it. So... I've sped it up 600% and it has stabilization on it. So it's going to need to be rendered. It's too much. Now I upgraded my video card from my ancient GTX 760, which is what this is. It's my EVGA GTX 760, which is a decent card. I upgraded that to this weekend I just I just picked up the Radian RX 580 power color red dragon now I picked this up because video cards are going up in price very quickly and by quite a bit for some reason this card I was looking for the cards and this card wasn't um, available so let me okay so now it's done stabilizing it which it made it a little bit smoother yeah there we go i mean i could throw on some color correction but this is so pretty i don't need to do anything to it it looks fantastic so i'm just going to go uh render all render loaded area so now it's going to render this little section so that i don't have to mess with it so now it's going to render this little area so anyway the video card what happened was um i was looking and I had I had one of them. I put in the card on Newegg, and it was four. It was three hundred and forty dollars or something for the Red Devil, which is just it has LED lights on it. The only difference between that and this one is it has LED lights, red LED lights and stuff. Which my case is filled with RGB lights, not just red. So in a way, I was kind of like irritated that it was red because then I'm stuck with red lights. Okay, so see how fast that rendered. That rendered fast. Now it'll play back. Buffer stays fills right up. That's fine. It's got a little camera movement, but that's fine. It's not bad. Okay. So that'll be my that'll be my introduction to the video. I like that little section. So I threw this thing in my card on Newegg, this video card, and it was three hundred and forty dollars or something. Well, I did it when I was away. I did it on my phone, and then I wanted to come back home and check out because I normally would just check out on my phone but I wanted to make sure there was anything else I might have wanted so I couldn't shut I was away and I thought I'll when I get back home I'll check out well I got home and it was pulled out of my cart because they sold out they sold out of the cards so I looked everywhere I was trying to get a Vega 64 or a Vega 56 those sold out and they didn't have nothing but junk on there so 
I saw this one came up. I, I did a, a auto notify when they got in stock and I saw this one here um, was th instead of $340, it was right at $300. Basically the same card, but without with a slightly different cooler on it. It has a back plate and everything uh, and no LED lighting at all on it. And I thought, well, it's I'm saving f for 50 bucks on this one, you know, and it gets it's an eight gig model. Uh, we'll see, you know. So, um, so I I I'm I put an auto notify. Well, like the very next day, I get a, a message auto notify that this one's in stock. So I go I go I immediately I go right on my phone right to the site and go ahead and buy this one. And then I came I came home. I was away again. I came home, and I went to look. And when I clicked on that card, it says out of stock, but it jumped up to $340. So when I bought it, I got it for $300. So I immediately saved $40. So I went and looked at the other one. It was like $360 or $380. So let's go look real quick. New egg. Uh, components. Video cards. Desktop graphic cards. The prices on these cards are going up, like through the roof. So we're going to go Reagan RX 500 series. It's a 580. There's 34. Apply. Look at the prices. Oh my gosh. They've just gone through the roof. Look, the 584 gig is 319. There's the Red Devil. 369. See, it went up to 369. The Red, Red Dragon. Where's the Red Dragon? Red Dragon. So that's basically the card I got. Seven thirty nine. I mean, why? They they jump. They massively jumped up in price. That's the card I got. That's the card I just got. That's it. It's a basic card. I mean, that's the card. There's a gigabyte, um, four gig, three nineteen. So that's more than I paid for mine. Plus four ninety nine shipping. So, so I just I just jumped on it real quick because I heard that the prices of these cards are going up for some unknown reason. I figure this will last me a year or whatever until the prices stabilize or come down and I'm able to get an upgrade card. So. At any rate, there's the where I get music. So let's get back to this editing. So now we're going to go to... Um, there she is getting her hair done. I'll probably get a shot of that. Let's see. I like to get just a little snippet of this, plop it down in the video track, bring it back up, put it right there on the end. I like this shot where you get like it's half blocked. So like this, it covers up the mess that's in the room. And at the same time, puts puts it down there. So. Nice. Okay. So I get a couple shots like that. Here's a shot through the mirror. Kind of a cool shot. Just a couple little little things, right? All right, and then I want a shot like this.
because I already got that other shot for the title. I'm going to put this in here. The reason why I'm going to put this in here is just because I'm going to plop this in here because I'm going to go over to the Nikon. She's not covered very well. Go to a dress shot. See if I got a full dress shot. There we go. That's good. So I'm going to get her getting the dress. Right. So she goes and grabs the dress and brings it back. So we're going to put that there. So she, that hesitation. I don't like. That's good. So what I do is I've got a I've got a my thumb button on my mouse right here. My thumb button is to split the clips. So when I hold the when I if I have this clip selected, if I hit my thumb button, it splits them. And then if I highlight the clip and hit my middle mouse button and push down, it deletes, it ripple deletes that section. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So you go to settings, uh, I think it's user settings. Keyboard shortcut. So you, you, you search the keyboard shortcuts for what you want the short, shortcut to be. So category all, filter, delete. So I've got delete. So um, delete between and out. You'll see it'll be like ripple delete. Ripple delete video clips. Ripple delete between in and out. It's D. The assignment is D, right? So D, ripple deletes. So if I... If I if I go to my, what I do is I set my mouse up to do this. So I go to my mouse settings, mouse, right? Logitech gaming software. There it goes. Okay. So mouse. And if you look up here, I have one, I have one of these Edius. See this one says Edius. I click it, cut, ripple, delete. I labeled it ripple, delete, but it's actually the keystroke is D. So, and cut, I labeled that and the keystroke is for cut is cut is split the clip. So let's go to split, split ripple trim endpoint. Cut. Add cut point selected selected tracks as C. So if if that's if that track is selected and I click C, it splits it. See? Split it. C. Split it. So basically, I just assign my, my thumb button to C. So I don't have to go and do it every time. And edit undo, which is control Z, like every other program. So basically, I have my mouse. So I don't have to take my hand off the mouse. I can have my hand on the keyboard on one side and my mouse on the other. And quickly go through, split the clip. Highlight it, hit the thumb, the center mouse button, ripple deletes the clip. So we're going to edit undo. Edit undo. Or I can just go control Z. And then I got a shot of her coming out. So it's right here. They're looking at each other. So then I'm going to cut this. Put this in here, but I want the audio because I'm going to mix the audio in. So I'm going to raise this audio up gradually. So we're going to click it. Oop. Click the audio. Put 
to the end point. Drag it down so it fades up. And then I'm going to take this other clip that's actually before that clip. Right there. You're so skinny. Oh, like that. So, if you watch it, it looks like Perfect. And see, our mom's over there smiling. Nice. Then I cut the, here's, here's her zipping up the back of the dress. She doesn't actually zip it up, so I have to just cut it. They didn't know, they didn't understand what we were doing. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes people don't get it. They're like, huh? what do you mean? I'm like, we want it to make it look like you're, you zip the dress up. Drag it out. That's fine. And then they put the earrings, the necklace on. So we're gonna get that. And again, I can either just plop it down here like this, Alt and A, get rid of the audio. A little shaky at the beginning. Also, if you if you get a spot shaky at the beginning, right click, delete gap. Now it pulls the clip over. Yeah, that's not bad. Is that a little? No, nah, it's fine. So we're going back to her getting dressed, which is good. That's kind of long. How's that so long? Yeah, it's too long. I'm going to delete this section. I zoomed it in. on so basically I go through get the get the little shots that I want it doesn't this doesn't have to be the whole thing it just has to show that I'm that she's putting it on in other words it doesn't really matter that it, they couldn't figure out how to clip it so it doesn't really matter just a shot of that um, We're gonna get a shot of her mom putting her veil on. There. So she's just gonna have her hand up here. Just like that. Couple shots. That's basic that's basically it. Let's um make this a little bit longer so I can fade it uh, fade it out like that and then I will put a dissolve in here transition dissolve we're just gonna throw a dissolve right here at the end make it fade to black I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit long so now the clip plays and then it dissolves to black because she's because she's dressed right so once you get to there, this is just the beginning. Title, her getting her thing done, right to a dissolve. And then the next scene will be their first look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and see. Um, 
if I have any shots, because I didn't get any shots of her, of this one, getting ready or anything. But I have some shots like this. So I'm going to get some shots of shots like this. I'm just going to put a shot like this in here. Like that. Just a quick shot or two of this. And then I'm going to, I'm going to also get rid of the audio. All right. And then I'm going to put a dissolve at the beginning of this. And then delete the gap. So it fades out and fades back up. I don't, I don't want it to dissolve. I don't want it to fade from this clip to that clip. I want it to fade to black. So I'm going to dissolve out, dissolve back in. So if you watch, it'll go from this to black and then back to the other clip. So it fades to black and then that one comes in. That's perfect. I want, the reason why I'm doing that is to show a, a delay in time and to show a different scene um, unrelated to the first scene. It's related because they're together, but it's unrelated in that it's a, it's basically a completely different scene. So here's a shot of their wine glasses in their room. You know, that'll be for later. I'll save that stuff for a different shot. Um, this is them when they're standing up on the thing. They were going to come. They were going to go up there with her. This is steady cam footage, so. So I show her standing there. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her walking. I like this shot of her walking away. Right here. So they're waiting. So I'm gonna get that, her walking over. I think that's a cool little shot. So it looks like I'm, she turned around and walked away. All right. Like this, like this shot, for instance. That one's pretty straight, but this one here, see the, see the wobble to it? Let's see if I put the, the uh, stabilizer, if it fixes it. So if I toss stabilizer on here, see, I, and the other thing is if it's 4K or, on a 1080p timeline or whatever, it doesn't matter in EDIUS what the frame rate size is, what the frame size is. Stabilizer will just fix it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to redo anything. Yeah, no, it added a little bit. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, it got a little bit of, got a little bit shaky there at the end, but we're going to shorten this up because it was kind of blurry. Perfect. That's good. Now, I'm going to do her walking up with her first look. So now what I do is I go to the sequence. I'm going to take the, drag the first look clip down to here. All right. I want to get a shot of her crossing the road. Right here. So I'm going to... Delete gap. So it's going to go from her... Quick shot. It's kind of wobbly because I'm walking backwards. Right to here. Um, I'll remove that audio or just click it and choose Alt A. Delete the audio. This is all on. Uh, uh, stabilizer thing. Okay. So she gets set up. So now I'm going to come to this side here. Right here. 
Okay, now you can hear my audio. So I want to bring this, drop it down. I'm actually going to do right there. Oops. I forgot to highlight this before deleting it. So right to here. So this. So then I want to do, uh, then I want to take some clips of their vows or something like that, some other clips, and put them in here and end it like with their vows or something like that. So, or just maybe like I've got a bunch of these that are just stuff like this, like that, and I've got some clips of them out here walking. See, that's a great shot too. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some shots of their cake and put their them saying their vows over this little part. <laughs> so. I had a very bad cold the day I did this. So we're gonna put this over here. I'm gonna drop this. And I'm gonna also do dissolve in and out. So we're gonna go, there it is, dissolve. So th th that's the only thing I wish the transitions were a little bit easier to see. Or if I could put like a favorites folder and just put all the stuff that I use the most in one folder. I think you can, but I wanna be able to put them in a favorites folder. They don't have, the, they don't have a way to do that. Anyway. I delete gap. So now I, I want it to fade back. <laughs> See, and the reason why is because I'm going to... Do a couple of these other clips. I don't want to go from cake to cake, but I'm going to go to the... show a clip real quick of this. I'm just going to delete the audio. Alt and A. Dessert menu. See, the little stuff like this is stuff they like. I guess you would be the place to do it. I like little shots like that. Okay, so this part here, it's it's long enough to where I can it can be. Start the vowels, like start the vowels like right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, on sequences and I'm going to drag ceremony down to here, right? 
and then I'm going to go I'm going to go to where they where they came in where they're doing their vows. you and look forward to this very moment. I didn't know you would, what you would be like, where you were from, or even what you would look like. You were a dream with no face. But finally tonight, my dream comes true. I get to spend the rest of my life with my true companion. I've always based my greatest moments of winning soccer titles, your kindness and pure heart are the trick that I fell in love with when we first met. These are the same qualities that I continue to draw me closer to you each day and help shape me into a better version of myself. Carly, I promise to show the same support you give me because your dreams are now my dreams. I promise to treat you with kindness and respect even on my toughest of days. See, that's, that's good there. I promise to reach you kindness and respect. All these are good. So we're going to stop it right here. We're going to delete this. Carly, you are my best friend. And tonight you become my wife. My heart is so full. I'm so blessed to have found you. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed, I dreamed about you and looked forward to this very moment. I didn't know you would, what you would be like, where you were from, or even what you would look like. You were a dream with no face. But finally tonight, my dream comes true. I get to spend the rest of my life with my true companion. Perfect. So that right there. That's perfect ending to the to the little section. So I listen to what they're saying, and I find a spot that's like really really good, and that's what I want to use. And this is really really good. I, it doesn't have to be the full, all the vows. It just has to be some good parts from the vows or something good from the thing. That's what I want to use. So I'm going to zoom in. All right, I'm going to bring this down here. And I don't want it to just have this and then cut to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, cut the video back. Like this. About right there. I want it to cut to that shot. Oops. Edit undo. I forgot. you got to change this setting right here. See this here? Insert overwrite change that and then I can just drag this over underneath and it will stay there see it just replaced the audio so now Carly you so she says Carly right there but I can fade it up so I'm gonna fade this up Carly you're my best friend and tonight you become my wife my heart is so full I'm so blessed to have found you Ever since I was a little kid. See, there's a little bit of a jerk there. What is it? I was a little kid. Okay, so it goes to it goes to that shot a little bit faster. So we're gonna move this down a little bit. I'm gonna drag the video back again, right to there, because it jumped too quick. Ever since I was a little kid. Still a little too quick, so we're gonna shorten this up, right to there. There. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamed, I dreamed about you and looked forward to this very moment. I didn't know you would, what you would be like, where you were from, or even what you would look like. You were a dream with no face. But finally tonight, 
My dream comes true. I okay. Now see where my dream comes true right there? Now I want to put another clip over the top of this. So I want it to show them both from both angles, but then cut to another clip. So now I'm going to go to this G85 and get a shot. And it's going to lead over part of to part of Carly's section. In other words... This is a good this is a good one here. Remember this here? Everybody. Right here. That's a sweet shot right here. Just them two standing there is nice. So see she they he walks up, but we're just gonna do this. Right to there. So I'm gonna drag this down to here. I'm gonna Alt A, get rid of the video audio, put the video over the top of the other one. So it's gonna cut to this shot. And then I'm gonna right click here and choose um, time effect speed and I'm gonna drop it down to say 60%. 60% duration, optical flow, okay. Okay, so now it stretched it out and it's 60%. So now it slowed it down. True. I get to spend the rest of my life with my true companion. But see, it, it, it did that thing to the flash. So let's go to time effect. Optical flow does that sometimes. Optical flow does that sometimes. It makes the flash funky. See if frame blending does it. I get to spend the rest of my life with my true companion. No, fr frame blending doesn't do it. It doesn't look quite as sharp, but it's fine for this sh little short scene. I want a couple of them. Let's see. Is this them walking? Coming out. Oh. Okay, now they're going to be holding hands and walking, so. Little shot of them walking. And I can even plop it up there on Alt A, get rid of the audio. Then I'll start walking till there. So you're not going to pay that much attention to this as you are when I go back over to the ceremony and grab her audio. I'm going to grab her audio. So grab the bride's audio when she talks. Even on my toughest of days. I'm going to add some I of this at the end. No matter how gonna... busy life gets, to always make time for our fruity date nights. You are the... You are my rock and my monkey. Today, surrounded by the people who love us, I choose you. Perfect. Me. You are my person. Eating and exploring life together. I realized then you were the one for me. Hours. And that's when I knew it was different with you. Over the next few months, we spent a lot of time getting to know each other, eating, and exploring life together. I really...
I realized then you were the one for me. You are my person. You are the you are my rock and my monkey. <laughs> Today, surrounded by the people who love us, I choose you. Perfect. So I like that. Today, surrounded by the people who love us, I choose you. Really sweet. So we're gonna drag that over. And because I jumped the thing, I'm gonna slide it in here. Put the timeline here. Oops. loud I realized then you were the one for me you are my person you are the you are my put a little bit of a delay here Canyon. I realized then you were I realized then you were the one for me. You are my person. You are the you are my rock and my monkey. <laughs> Today, surrounded by the people who love us, I choose you. I choose you. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to get a shot of, um, find something else. They went and rang the bell at the end, which was sweet too. So I could go to the end of their ceremony and have them ringing the bell. Also sweet when they walked out. When they walked out and said that they're married. <laughs> this is good too when they walk away. I like that little part there where they walk out so what I'm gonna do is zoom it out drag this clip over here grab the wrong section
It's a good shot too. Right there. Got the basic. Mary, holy shit! I lips. Let's go. Yep. I can learn the bow. All right. So I get to ring the bell, and I already got the bell ringing part. So I got to move this down. Um, also, you want to change this back to insert mode so it pushes the clips down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I grabbed the wrong piece. Where's the piece where they're walking? Yeah, it's this clip. So this clip here. Oops, where is it? See, it just pushes it down. So this is now at the end over here. Turn this insert off. Perfect. So yeah, that works out good. That's fine. And I see this audio, I can actually put a, a dissolve across here. I can do a linear out and in on this audio and it will fade the audio from one track to the other. See, we can even do this. See, I can have the, the ring and the bell at the end, which is fine. See, we're up to three minutes. So it doesn't seem like it's all that long until you get there. Then you're like, wow, that's long. It's three minutes. That's about the duration of a teaser. Anyway. So I thought the ceremony and stuff was the best part of this. So that's why I included it. Now I'm going to have to shorten this video up and speed some stuff up to, to get to this. But now what I like to do is go ahead and get some music. Um, I'm going to get their ring in the bell. Where's their bell ring? That was perfect. I love you. I can't tell you what. I'm going to, I'm going to put this at the end because I thought that was very sweet. It's very sweet. And compassion. <laughs> Let us be partners, friends. And Let us be partners. Let us be partners, friends, and lovers today, and for all the days. So I'm going to delete this. Oops. Partners, friends, and lovers. This is going to be at the very end. Lovers today, and for all the days that follow. That was perfect. I love you. I can't tell you what. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave that little part there. They're happy. Super happy. Okay. So where's where they ring the bell? Right there. So we're gonna ripple delete that. There's the bell ringing. 
I don't need this part at the end. I just want them ringing the bell. So we're going to bring this over to here. Delete gap. The reason why I delete a gap is I want to move everything from down here closer to the timeline. So it's right there. I'm going to show another little shot right here of them cutting the cake or something. Something at the reception. Let me move my little video up so I can see. Yeah, it's got like a, I've got like a LUT on it. I, I basically did a, a, Drag this down, audio only, move this. Just didn't feel like doing it the other way. There's multiple ways to do this stuff. Holy shit. So this needs uh, color correction, obviously. So I'm just gonna get rid of that shot where the photographer got in the shot. He's, he was a great guy, he's a good photographer. He just didn't see me. Got in the shot. This is fine. And I don't need all this. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to get the shot of them. Um, I don't need this. I'm going to get the shot of them feeding each other. So now this is going to go right here. I'm going to Alt and A. We're going to cut right to there. I always get rid of any zooms. So, all right. This needs this needs some color correction because see how flat it is. It's super flat. Um, I shot with a flat profile inside indoors, at, you know, for the thing. So let's just go to color correction. We're going to do a little bit of color correction on this. Um, I'm going to choose the primary color corrector. I'm going to add a LUT to it and see if I see if it fixes it. Might not. Primary color corrector. We're going to pick um, primary color corrector. Let's pick um, Panasonic V log. No, it's too much. Super flat. Source color space. Yeah, it's um needs a little bit of contrast is all. I'll brighten this up. Yeah, we're just making it a little bit punchier. There. The reason why I do that is to make it to um see. There's the original. That's a little bit more punchier. Notice the notice. It's kind of it's it, it brings it back. So all I did was just bring the highlights down a little bit, bring the midtones up, drop the blacks down a little bit to make it a little bit punchier. Boom, looks perfect. So now I can just take that and drag it over to here. So what I do is just take this color correction, drag it to the next clip. Now they both look like that. See, perfect. Nikon or whatever. So looks fantastic. So I got them doing that and now I'm just going to probably get this, put it right here. They didn't have a lot of, they had some toast at their thing, but that was basically it. Delete gap. We're going to bring this up, fade this down.
So now we're going to fade this out. And I'm going to put that other clip at the very end. I'm going to put that very other clip at the very end. So now I just got to pick some audio. Not that hard, really, to do a teaser. So now what I do is I pick my audio from... Um, I, I got to do the title at the beginning. There's a couple titles in Edius you have just a basic title. You have a fancy title like a like a new blue. I don't want to get into new blue titler, so I'm just gonna put a title in the T1 track, which we'll put it down here. So I'm just gonna do a basic. This is my my standard. I actually have a little preset for titles right here that I've done, and I'm just gonna type in. Carlene and Crested. Uh, let's move this. Let's let's put this somewhere. Make it a little bit bigger. Oop. There. You'd be able to see that pretty good. Save it, and now it's already in. It's done. Title's done. So let's go to Control. I want it at the beginning. Also, this has to fade up. Drag the title out a little bit. Colleen and Kristen. Good. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, I'll do a, a, a color mat, a color bar, color mat, Ugh. cancel, let's put it, let's put it up here, see it's, it's, it's putting it, it's pushing this clip down, so I'm going to, I'm going to move it to here, so I'm going to right click and choose new clip color mat so now it's up there okay the reason why I'm doing this is I'm gonna shorten this this thing up so I want it to I don't I don't want it to start this far in so right clip delete gap now I can delete the color mat do you see what I did I wanted to shorten this I don't want it to play forever I want to play a couple seconds and then fade into the clip that's what I want so now it starts black for just a couple seconds because of the leader at the beginning of Vimeo and stuff like that. There's a leader at the beginning of Vimeo that works better if there's a black space at the beginning of the clip so that it has time for it to buffer and load rather than starting right away. I always start them with black or with something else, like a title or something. Okay, so that's basically my timeline, and it's now... Uh, 3 minutes and 29 seconds, which is fine for a teaser. It's a short little teaser clip of them. That's perfect. So now I will go and get songs. So I'll go to Browse. I use Soundstripe for a lot of my a lot of my um, things. There's I Do. There's ones that are very made for weddings. But if you look, most of these are most of these have vocals. It has vocal or guitar. So I'll listen to some. I save it download it, plop it on the timeline, and then I make some edit changes as I've got as I go to based on the music. So we'll do we'll get to that when I do the changes.